Vitaly Shishov's life ended here, his body hanging from a tree. He'd set off for a run near his home in Kiev but didn't return. Police believe it could be murder disguised as suicide. There may have been a struggle. This officer says there were marks on his face, left knee, head and chest. Shishov was dedicated to political opposition to autocratic rule in his home country of Belarus. He was working with an organization helping to get housing, food and work for people fleeing persecution there. He knew he was under surveillance. So did his friends. This was an execution, vile, nasty execution of a person who deserves more than any of those people who served the regime of Alexander Lukashenko. He's sending to the rest of the exiles in Ukraine and elsewhere to sit low, keep their mouths shut, because this is what's going to happen to you. Lukashenko, dubbed by his enemies the last of Europe's dictators, has ruled for 27 years. But since a disputed election a year ago, he's been cracking down on opposition supporters. In May, a protest leader, Roman Protasevich, was detained after a passenger plane heading to Vilnius in Lithuania was forced to land in the capital of Belarus. Security agents had effectively hijacked the plane. The leader of the opposition, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, has been on a world tour trying to reignite the Western outrage that followed that arrest. The UK's Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, said he was the first to impose sanctions and vowed more support for the opposition. Diplomatic niceties aside, though, the opposition leader said none of her people were safe, least of all her. I can disappear at any moment, I understand this, but uh, I should do what I'm doing. I can't stop because I'm, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I feel respons this responsibility for the future of my country, the same as all those Belarusians who are fighting at the moment feel their responsibility. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya was in Washington before arriving here in Downing Street. Her messaging in both capitals was the same, that more action was needed. But there was no concrete response, either by the President of the United States or indeed the UK Prime Minister. And as far as the President of Belarus is concerned, it appears from events in Ukraine that he seems intent on continuing his deadly messaging. If security agents from Belarus did kill 26-year-old Vitaly Shishov, it is indeed a dark warning to opposition activists. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, London.